Hi, my name is Caleb and I have a one-year-old daughter and here are some tips on winning the whining battle. Um, a lot of us know that we're not supposed to really give our children what they want when they whine. Um, but sometimes we forget, like, it's even the little whines that uh, even if they don't, they don't even, like, come to our attention because they're so little, but we can't give in to these little, little whines. For example, there's, like, the put-me-down whine, like, you're, you have a child in your arms and they sort of arch their back a little bit and it's like, ah! uh, there's that little whine and sometimes we'll just put them down and that inf reinforces, um, oh, if I arch my back and say, uh, they'll put me down. So um, we can't give in to that little whine. There's, there's the, I don't want to be picked up whine. So like you pick them up and they're like, ah! and we leave them down. As soon as we leave them down, uh, it reinforces. If I say, ah, they're going to leave me what, let me have what I want, which is staying down. There's the, I don't want to eat that wine. So when we hold something up to their mouth, they say, mm, and turn away. As soon as we don't let the food go in their mouth, they learn, oh, um, as soon as I say, mm, and turn away, I don't have to eat that food. So it's like tough because there's such little instances, but every time we give in to those, the little ones, or like another one that, that I can't believe you just took that toy away, wine. We can't give in to any of them, and we definitely can't give in to the whines when they escalate into tantrums or screams. So if they don't get their way with like that, the little, uh, uh, maybe if they do it louder, then the parents will give in. And as soon as as soon as soon um, their whine or their scream or their tantrum gets them something desirable, it's like so hard to reverse. So um, here's what you can do instead of giving in to the whines. Teach them the thing you want them to say or do instead of whine. So you can teach them to say please if they want something or teach them to say no please like if you're picking them up teach them rather than the uh, um, pick them up unless they say no please or stay right here um, that hap that can happen when they're like two or whatever if, if it's if it's if they don't talk yet just you can teach them signs um, uh, I don't know like how many months old they can be to start signing uh, some people teach more, or all done, or please. Uh, there's like a ton. So there's that. Um, something I do is I keep my daughter in like the same position if she whines, um, so that she learns that a whine doesn't mean something desirable for her will happen. So if she's in my arms and wants to get down and says, uh, I just sort of keep her where she's at. And usually if I keep her where she's at, it's like a louder. Uh, and then sometimes she'll like let out a scream and arch her back all the way. And I just hold her in the same spot to so that she realizes that nothing desirable is going to happen when she does something that is socially unacceptable. Um, so then like I try to help her calm down. You can even coach her, like t teach her how to take deep breaths. Say, Ava, go like this. <sighs> Ava, say, <sighs> Ava, say, peace. And uh, when she like calms down, then just give her a little orientation. Ava, wah, wah, won't get you anything. Or you can just tell her, uh, down please, daddy. And then when she says exactly what you want her to say in a calm way, then put her down right away so that she gets the reward of using the words. And um, then if the whine gets like too loud or obnoxious, you can, uh, we, put, we put our daughter in the bed. Um, and you can, you can like, as a pass to get out of the bed, have them say the desired phrase. So like if um, if they don't want to follow your instruction and they whine and instead of doing what you tell them to do, you can put them in their bed and then like to get them out of the bed, maybe the baby has to say yes daddy three times. Um, say, or say please or say no thank you three times in order to get out. And if they don't say it three times, if they're still whining, then just leave them in the bed for another minute or so or until they calm down and then only take them out if they say the desired phrase or action or motion or sign three times to get out of bed. A few tips on winning the whining battle.